Hi guys! Welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. The topic today is about Thai pronouns. This is one thing that Thai and English use differently. In English, you have I, you, he, she, they, it, and we. But in Thai, we have he. On the other hand, no, mung, rau, ga, and many more. So if you are struggling with this and can't figure out what it means, please continue watching this video. In this lesson, I will be showing you all about Thai pronouns that you might have heard in daily life or on TV shows. As you can see on my screen, all of these seven words translate word for word from English. What makes Thai easier than English is that we use the same word for subject, object, and possessive. This might be confusing because in Thai language and Thai culture, we use pronouns based on status and age, but it also depends on environment and situation. For example, if you are new in an office, but you are older than someone that has a higher position, then you are considered for younger than them. The same applies at in a university. For example, if you are the first year student and you are 26 and the seniors are 21 years old, which is younger than you, technically you are younger than them when it comes to language spoken. So let's drive into all pronouns you need to know. If you want to understand and speak Thai properly, I have separate them into categories and explain when to use and whom to use them with. Let's start with pronouns for the first person. It's I. Pom is used for male speaker, which you may already know. Tan is used for female speakers. If you have attended to a school, they would teach you to say Di chan. I have never taught anyone to say like that because no one uses in daily life. You will hear Glapom and Di chan in old fashioned Thai dramas. So don't use them if you don't want to sound like a 90 years old person. Remember that Chan is a written language. For spoken language, try to speak it with a high tone and it's gonna make you sound more natural. Chan, Chan, not Chan with the rising tone. Chan, Rao, Rao. If you recognize this word, yep, I have shown you earlier. It literally means we or us, but Rao can be used for I and me. If you're talking to someone whom you are not sure if they are older or younger than you, so just be safe. Say, เราเราชอบเสื้อเธอเราชอบเสื้อเธอ I like your shirt เขาเขา is similar to เรา but sounds cuter and softer you will hear เขา from teenagers when they refer to themselves while having a conversation with their boyfriend or their girlfriend if you want to impress your Thai girlfriend try to use เขา instead of ผม and see her reaction. So basically, cow is used to showing that you are being nice to that person in a casual way instead of pom or chan. Gu. Gu is a pronoun that used in the past century. It's rude if you say gu to a stranger and it sounds like you are an uneducated person if you say gu nowadays, but it can be used for friends only close ones. Personally, I don't use go with every friend. Go to me is more like I can trust that person. You don't have to say anything but understand each other. Just by looking at each other's eyes, that kind of person I would use the word go with. It doesn't matter if they are older or younger. Another way to say I is using your name. Yep, in European culture, you might sound arrogant. If you refer yourself in the third person, but in Thai it's kind of normal and even makes you sound nice. And you can use your name as I and me with anyone. 
for example Henry ชอบอาหารทะเลเดี๋ยว Jack โทรกลับ The last way to say I is by using your occupation The most common here is teacher right So if you are teacher you can simply say ครู as I and me in Thai But if your job title it's so long such as full stack developer UI UX designer or CTO you won't refer to yourself as any of those right as it would make sentence too long right if you are a father a mother you can say แม่พ่อพี่ป้านะอา or anything that you are that's all about the way to say I and me in Thai. Let's jump into the second person pronoun which is you. You in Thai is Kun. This is the classic one if you are talking to someone new and want to be safe and show some respect to that person. You can simply say Kun. If you know their name you can also say Kun followed by their name. Kun Steve. Kun Dom. คุณจอห์นคุณอลิซาเบธ The next one เธอเธอ is used by teenagers friends would call each other เธอ Another situation when hearing this word is when someone is socially higher than another so they say เธอ It could be an employer calling her mate เธอ which means you but if you are a guy and has been called เธอ It's normal. It's just not common to call a guy ter. But if a girl calls you ter, that's kind of cute. You should be glad. ตัวเองตัวเองตัวเอง literally means oneself. Sometimes we use the shorter version, which is ตัว This word comes with the word เขา So a couple would call their girlfriend or their boyfriend ตัวเอง or Only ตัว which means you. One common situation where you will hear someone call you with this, whether it's a shopping mall or at a market, the shopkeeper, especially female, would call their customers ตัวเอง or ตัว to make them feel comfortable and to be friendly. And it can be used for both genders. But if you go to a luxury store for luxury brands such as Dolce g a b a n a The or channel, uh, the seller wouldn't call you ตัวเอง They would call you คุณผู้หญิง or คุณผู้ชาย which means sir and madam and miss in English. One thing that Thai people misunderstand is how to use madam correctly. I have been called madam sometimes. By Thai people, and it's kind of weird to me. So if you have the same age as me, or you're not that old, and have been called Madam, don't be mad at them or anything because they don't know how to use the word Miss. m u n g m u n g is the opposite word to the word g o o that I mentioned earlier. It's used just exactly the same. So be careful if you don't know someone that well, or if you're not sure if they are comfortable with being called m u n g If someone makes you upset, you can say m u n g to them. Being rude in the right situation is totally fine. Ge ge is used for friends and somebody that is lower than you, but it's kind of rude if call someone ge if you. Only meet that person for the first time. It's less exclusive than m u n g Calling someone by their name is also a common way to say you in Thai. You can add Kun if you just have recently met that person or want to show them some respect. But when you have known that person for a while, or they are younger than you, or they have the same age as you, then you can call them by their name. Philip, Kenneth. Good stuff, John. Something like that. The next one, P. We call someone P when you are younger than them. It's actually really difficult to tell, right? Asians and European have a really different appearance. However, it shows that you are respect that person because you want them to higher than you. It doesn't mean they are older or higher in social status, but 
You are my brother, you are my sister, something like that, if you know what I mean. Nong. Nong is used to call someone younger than you. If you want to call a waiter or a waitress, but you are not sure if they are older or younger than you, play it safe by calling Nong because no one wants to be old, you know? If you know that name, you can add Nong before calling that name to make it sound nicer. The last way to say you is by calling their position or occupation. This classic way is used when you don't know their name and you are not sure if they are older or younger than you. For example, if you go to a police station to ask for help, you can call anyone that is wearing a police uniform. Kun Tam Ruat or the most popular here is teacher. You can call your teacher Kun Kru. The third person pronoun Kau. Kau means he and they. It doesn't matter if they are male or female. You can use it for both genders. And this one is the safest one. When you don't know who they are or how old they are, so you just refer to them in the third person by using Kau. Te. Te means she and her, and it also means you, as I mentioned earlier. In a conversation, you won't get confused for sure because you will automatically know it means you or her by the context but her that means her it can only be used for female nang nang this was this kind of slang it means he or she depending on the context you can use nang for both genders but it sounds more like sarcasm and gossip when we say nang instead of cow the last one is man, which literally means it. In Thai, you can use the word man for the third person you are talking about. It can be used for both genders, but be careful when using it. It might be taken rudely if the person you are talking about accidentally hears it. But if you don't like that person much, this was, is the right word to use. That's all about Thai pronouns you need to know when you are learning Thai. As you can see, it has culture involved. Learning a new language is also means learning culture. If you are still confused which words can be used for what, I will summarize it at the end of the video and in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you will get a notification when I upload a new video. And please thumbs up if you like it and if you have any questions and anything that i didn't mention please feel free to comment in the comment section below and i'll see you next time bye